It is day three of the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. And our Washington, D.C. correspondents, Rachel Knapp and Brendan Scanlon, have been covering the event all week long. Definitely uh, no shortage of things going on there. And a full lineup of speakers will warm up the stage tonight for vice presidential candidate Tim Walls. Washington correspondent Brendan Scanlon, he's there right now. Brendan, what do we do and what we have on deck for tonight? Jameson and Elspeth, good evening. I am here with uh, Gavin Griffin. He is the youngest serving elected official in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Very impressive. Um, Gavin, I want to ask you a little bit about sort of what it means being here in Chicago this week, representing, taking the voices of Northwest Pennsylvania and bringing them here to Chicago. Absolutely. It's a tremendous honor to represent not only the city of Titusville, where I'm from, in Crawford County, uh, but the entirety of Northwest Pennsylvania in the 16th Congressional District. Um, to especially be one of the youngest members of the delegation, um, I think this means a, a great deal for our area. What's been your favorite part about being a delegate? Oh, uh, the food, <laughs> the music. Um, I'm very excited tonight for Mr. Stevie Wonder. And, um, yeah. We're also going to be hearing from Governor Josh Shapiro, highly anticipated right. speech coming from our governor. What are you looking forward to hearing out of that speech? Uh, well, as a proud Pennsylvanian, I'm just looking forward to hearing from our governor and our honorary delegation chair. Um, I think he's going to promote a lot of the hard work he's been doing in Harrisburg and throughout the Commonwealth and uh, showing the entire country that Pennsylvania is a state to watch. Jameson, Elspeth, we have a really star-studded lineup coming up later this evening. We're going to hear from, like we said, Governor Josh Shapiro, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, uh, and, and many, many more, former President Bill Clinton. That's all going to be taking place throughout this evening. If it's anything like the last couple of days has been, have been, it will be loud, it will be energetic, and it will be uh, very exciting, especially for the delegates like Gavin and attendees who are here. Um, just very energized, very excited, as you can hear. But we're going to have a lot more coverage coming up on Erie News Now at 11 with the latest breaking it all down. But for now, reporting live on the convention floor, the 2024 Democratic National Convention in Chicago. For Erie News Now, I'm Brendan Scanlon.